CEO and publisher of Ovation International, Chief Dele Muhammadu, discussed insecurity in Nigeria in this week's Pendulum, an article he wrote which touched the key things that has been happening in the country. In his article, he said there are four categories of terrorists present in Nigeria and he went on to reveal the most deadliest and smartest of the four. He also talks about northern and southern Nigerian leaders as well as the 5,000 Naira palliative which he and his friends gave to some unemployed youth. For this article, I will focus more on what he said about southern leaders which is where he described how shocked he was to see Governor Hope Uzodima gloat about inviting the army to Olu, a town in Imo state. Despite Boko Haram ranking high when it comes to terrorism, Dili Mohamed gave the smartest terrorist group to the bandits and the most deadliest to killer Fulani Esme, who he said are not the peaceful Nigerian Fulani and said they came from neighboring African countries through our porous borders with an evil agenda in mind. These ones are the deadliest because they are not just armed robbers, they are religious and tribalistic bigots and fantastic fanatics who are daydreaming of how they will soon convert the entire country to Nigeria into a Fulani colony and an Islamic enclave, said Dele Muhammadu, who also added that the attitude and disposition of the government emboldened them. On why he thinks that the bandits are the smartest, he said the agenda is opportunistic, that they harass and blackmail the Nigerian state, holding everyone to ransom to the government part with loss of money. Speaking further, he added their strategy is very smart, give access to Shikau Gumi, Sheikh Gumi and some media operatives to help spread your message of terror free of charge and even confer some sort of legitimacy on your nefarious activities. Speaking about the leaders, he described the northern leaders as bullies and said it is saddening that most of their southern counterparts are too timid to talk. However, he praised governors, governors Samuel Otom of Benue State, Governor Gobaseki of Edo State, Roti Miyakeridolu of Ondo State and Ieson Wiki of River State for standing up to the bullies. Still on leaders, he condemned Governor Hopu Zodima's decision to invite the army to Olu, saying he would have solved whatever trouble it was by speaking with an Igbo chief or priest who would then negotiate and end the problem just like Sheikh Gumi does in the north. He said, Nothing has shocked me more than seeing my brother, Governor Hopu Zodima, gloating on television about how he invited the military to Olu. Please help me ask what happened in Olu that has not happened 100 times over in the northern states. Why didn't he find any respected Igbo chief or priest to go and negotiate and quell whatever trouble there was in Olu like Sheikh Gumi has been doing for his own men in the northern forest hiding the internet Fulani militia? Why are southern leaders always very quick at throwing their own citizens at the lions? At the lions? That was how Chief Sunday Igbogo Adeyemo was going to be sacrificed by some Yoruba leaders in order to placate the sin gods of Abuja. Had his people not lent their voices to his crusade and dread the gods with the feet of clay. It is obvious we are our own worst enemies. On the issue of unemployment, they revealed that he and some of his friends shared a 5,000 naira palliative out of their goodwill to a successful 1,004 youth who apply for it. However, although they have disbursed a total of, a, of over 5 million naira, it has not got into all the applicants as many applied. According to him, as at the time he wrote this article, the total number of applications was 35,981 from across the state of Nigeria. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's unfortunate, really, really unfortunate. I don't know. You can't even, you can't even, um, I don't know. I don't know whether to say you can't blame Opu Zodima because Opu Zodima is, is not, is not there doing the bidding of the people because the people did not, they did not put him there. Do you understand? The people did not put him there. We know how he, he became the governor overnight. You all know. So 
He does not have regards for the people. You know, some of the people that are even they voted for, they don't even they don't even have regard for the people. Not to talk of this this man. We all know how he came. So what do you expect? So he has to do the bidding of the people that put him there. So what are we talking about? So he will not even look back because he believes that uh, what is my business? After all, I don't know you people. I don't know you people. But and that is why you, you see that the people will not they will continue to disrespect them. All the Oranese, the Oranese is speaking and all that thing. What do you, I don't understand? See, when you see people coming out to tell you that uh, Namdi Kano is their leader, you think uh, they are just talking for, for, for talking sake. They are not talking for talking sake. They know what they are talking about. And it is evident for those who care to listen, for those who care to know. It is evident. The only person speaking for them, the only person speaking for them is Namdi Kano and the like of a Abari Bay. Somebody came and began to say Abari Bay is deceiving them. Abari Bay is deceiving them that he would have talked about a referendum if really he loves the people. The referendum, they, they are telling us that it is not in the constitution. Is that what you are talking about? So, Uzodima can as well do whatever he likes because he's doing, he has to fulfill the mission of those who have put him there. They did not just put him there for fun. The people did not put, them, put him there. And you see that up to today, majority of the People in Imo State do not support him. And you see the way he's been fighting Okorocha, even the Okorochas himself. The people do not even like both of them. And you see the way they are disgracing themselves. Let us see how all of this will happen. We we'll continue. The same thing happened in Obigbo with a wiki as well. We all know what happened there. Let us see how far they are going to dance this their musical. Well, you have always been courageous. In buttressing your points in any national issues affecting this country, keep on the good work. Good always overcome evil. Okay, somebody is uh, praising a uh, Jale Muhammadu for um, the good job or what he has been able to pinpoint from this whole thing. Well, love reading pendulum. Jale Muhammadu is a seasoned journalist. All what is said is true and factual. Opu Zodima should tread cautiously. Someone is saying, please stop eating issues. Stop eating issues to create problems between brothers just for fame and followers. What has that got to do? Is he not saying the truth? Somebody is he not saying the truth? So if if there is brothers, so if you have problems with your brothers, like you so uh, said, if you have problems with your brother, don't you know? Don't you know your brother? Don't you know what your brother can do? What your brother cannot do? Can't you people say to it inside before inviting an outsider? Is 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 taking them as uh, the people as not his own people. They are not his brothers because if they are his brothers, he should have known how to go about it. Just like a Dele Muhammadu has said, you see them in the north. They are covering themselves. They will still defend the evil. They will still defend it. And you are telling us a uh, 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 what is not. You are saying Dele Muhammadu is not. He doesn't know what he's talking about. So guys, let's hear your opinion on this. Thank you.